What's going on, people? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the South Bay Podcast. I'm Fidel Sibu. And I'm Sam Enlove. And today we've got Portsmouth's very own mixed martial artist and four-time champion, Charlie the King Hatton. He deserves a round of applause. Give it up to him. Come on. <laughs> Char, first things first, how are you? Yeah, good, yeah, mate. Yeah, good. good. Obviously, fight week coming up now and you're competing on the Saturday, is it? Yeah, this Saturday coming. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And how are you feeling? Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Ready to go. How's camp? How's camping? Yeah, it's only been a short one because I fought four weeks ago um, in London. So yeah, um, yes, yeah, just ticking over basically, staying in shape. You know what I mean? Definitely. And you got the W over there as yeah. well yeah. in yeah. London as 12 well. Twelve rounds. Yeah, that's it. That's it. One every round. So yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally so casual, man. No, yeah, yeah. You, you look very relaxed though. Yeah, yeah. Given that you're obviously fighting. But um, before we go into sort of your last fight and your fight coming up. It'd be great to just know about who Charlie Hatton is for those that don't know you. Obviously, me and Fidel know you quite well, yeah. but just give us a little snippet as to um, Yeah, who just Charlie a normal, is. normal person, normal kid really. 26. Um, started MMA when I was 21. I always wanted to do it growing up and that. Um, I played football when I was younger. Um, from like about Moneyfields. Yeah, Moneyfields. Yeah, <laughs> you, me and you was there, weren't we? That's um, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I started football when I was about, God, how old? Probably about 11. Um, and then I played that until about like 15, 16, and then like just fell out of it and then like just done my own thing for a couple of years. And then, but like, I wanted to do this, um, but I just never did. But I'd watch it and stuff. And then one day, I, I, me, me and Caitlin, my other half, we went on holiday and I was like, when I get back, I'm going training and that was it we got back the day the next day we got back late that day that next day I'll come here and then I've literally been here ever since no time off nothing you've never never even taken and a that break was in I was what late like nearly 22 so yeah I'm 26 now so yeah like five four years five years but to be honest it's not even that long in the nah, game nah. and what you've achieved like I, I think said. um yeah it all depends how serious you take it doesn't it like a lot of people can train 10 years but They've had di- six weeks off here, seven weeks off here, like yeah. gone on holiday here. Do you know what I mean? But as soon as I am on to something, that's you're it. Channeled in. Yeah, literally. But no. So you say you've you've always wanted to, to get involved, but what yeah, like when you're watching it, what what made you think? You know, I what, don't know. Me. me and my brothers always, when we was younger, like used to just do you know what I mean? Play, fight, wrestle, and like we'd watch Bruce Lee films, and like <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, and I've always loved it, yeah. and then like. Yeah, I don't know. Like, we've just always sort of done it, you know what I mean? And then obviously, I see, like, because we don't live far from here, so when I see that we actually had a proper gym here, I I remember, but obviously, I went through a phase, like, when I was younger, like, 18, going out and all that, so, like, obviously, I I just never got round to it. And then I sort of, like, grew up a bit, and then I was like, I need to start training. And then I went there, and then, yeah, like, come in, and then that was it. Like, ain't looked back since. Fell in love Four or five it. years of so- well, saying that actually, we lost like a year, but everyone was in the same boat. But we couldn't train or fight for like a year, year <coughs> and a half. So a year and a half of that as well, I've lost to COVID. So really, I've only actually been training like three, three years if you look at it like that. Like, do you know what I mean? Mate, that's serious, serious accomplishment. Accomplishment. Just because how much you want it, really. Yeah. Isn't it? Like, and how much you want to not sack. I don't like saying sacrifice because like if yeah if you love doing it that much it's not really sacrificing is it like but it's how much you're willing to just put in and like compete like not have a fight and then like have months off and like because you want to enjoy life it's like how much do you want to progress you know what i mean and where i did start a bit late i just wanted to fight fight get you know what i mean get as many competitions in as possible because you could be training 10 years but if you've only fought twice doesn't matter it literally don't matter like I'm a different person now like I've been like I just said the amount of time I've been training but I've had what 11 fights so like it don't matter how long you've been training really it's like how how much have you competed how experienced are you you know what I mean and 11 fights in mixed martial arts is a lot yeah exactly and they're they're all at my proper weight class as well so I've done 11 like weight cuts like 11 proper camps which is crazy. Like yeah. a lot of people in the amateurs will like fight at a higher weight class to like maybe just so they can compete more. And 
but I, at the beginning, like me and Brian said, like I, I want to do it at the weight class I'm going to be fighting at, so I'll get the experience of the weight cart, like the dieting. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. otherwise, you might go pro and then like you think, oh, I'm going to drop down now, and then it's like you're a beginner at doing oh, it. Do you know again. what I mean? Yeah, Obviously, yeah, I'm not. Sure. It works. People do it, mm. but I just think the the mindset and level of knowledge I've got now on weight cutting and doing it properly, it's like, yeah, I've done it like 10, 11 times. Exactly, and doing that again and again, like you said, exactly. 10, 11 times, mate. Exactly. It's just experience in the bank. 100%. You know what I mean? 100%. So when you do eventually turn over, mate, it'll be nothing to you, like you said. And amateur MMA actually sets you up very well for the pro game. Yeah. It's literally like being a pro already. Yeah, really, exactly. Yeah. I know, like the, the way, the way MMA's going now, like, yeah, exactly that. The shows, everything. Like, it's literally, like, because, yeah, because, like, obviously, jiu-jitsu tournaments and, like, even I've seen, like, some fighters do, like, sambo and all that. Like, it's all experience, but with MMA, like, the way I see it now is, like, it's more experience doing an actual fight, amateur fight. So like like you just said, the way the shows are in that now is actually like a pro fight. I remember the first time going to I think oh the first time I went to one, I saw you. I was like, mate, this is yeah, this yeah. is like I felt like it's what? proper, yeah. Yeah, like obviously the, the rounds are shorter, hundred yeah. percent. Um but no shin pads, um, you're just in your shorts, like there's no like gis, like because Sambo, I've watched a lot of them, but they've got like wrestling shoes on, some of them, or like they've got a, a gi on, so you can grab the gi and all like head guards. It's just like, yeah, it's experience, but to me, that's just like sparring. Like, actual experience to me is going in there and doing the real thing. So I've got 11 fights, but to me, they're like 11 proper. Good experience fights, you know what I mean? 100%. Like, of the actual thing. Definitely, because when you're in there, you must just feel, I'll speak to Ozzy about this, you must just feel so naked in there. No, yeah, that yeah, is literally, I've said this, I've literally, well, yeah, I no, I've literally said this some before, because obviously in our gym, some gyms train like, like with their tops off and stuff like that, like, but we like, it's good, better hygiene, like, for like infections and stuff, so like, we, we fully wear our clothes, obviously shorts, but t-shirt. And then like when we spar, we're fully padded up. So then like, I remember my first fight, I'm like stood there <laughs> and like, we wear our t-shirt for a walkout with like sponsors on and that. But then by the time you get to the cage, they take your top off, Vaseline you up. And I was in there like barefoot, <laughs> little skimpy shorts on, yeah. no t-shirt. And I'm like, and it's just, you feel like bare. Yeah. It must be a crazy feeling, especially when they shut those doors as well. Yeah, you're, you're just like, and what? I'm yeah, in a pair of pants. Like, and you've got so many people as well, so many eyes, and you're on the screen. Obviously, I'm used to it now, but yeah. I remember that feeling. The first time I ever done it, I was like, this is weird. Like, do you know what I mean? Just in a pair of pants, like, looking at someone. Do you know what I mean? About to have it. it must have been surreal. And the growth, that, like you mentioned, since your first fight to now, like oh, said, yeah. four times. Literally every fight, like, you watch... Or, I don't know about others, but I watch my f like often watch my fights, and I'm like, honestly, like I'm growing so much off every fight, like every one. Like I said about the experience thing, yeah. Like, yeah, it's just completely different. Like, like every fight you can, I just watch it, and I think like remember what I was feeling, and like watch how composed I am, and I'm like, what. Like I watched like three fights ago and I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, but it's but like that's what you want though. Hundred percent. That's like, what you want. Yeah, hundred percent. That is literally like that's why it's good to get your experience while you're like fresh, you know what I mean? A lot of people like where MMA is such a young sport as well, a lot of people just went pro quick, like five, six fights and like just went pro and like they're still amateurs sort of thing. Like it's not their fault. I nearly done it. But it was like actually like, if I'm growing this much off of every fight, I'm, I'm still only 26, like, let's have a couple more. Yeah. And like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to, oh, oh yeah, I was gonna say, I'd love to ask about the um, step towards pro, but I think you mentioned something beforehand that's quite key around, you said from the get-go, you've always realised that you, you're you zoning in. Yeah, You have to be dedicated, but have you always been like that? Since the yeah, very first day that you stepped this in? This is another thing, like, just how I see some other fighters talk and that, like, I don't know how, in like I don't know actually what they want out of it like I don't know just about like you can you can find out a lot about some people just how they talk or what they say I'm just talking about like my competition other fighters 
nothing like putting them down or anything. I'm just saying like I know the level I want it, and like just by how I talk and like what like for instance like the day I said I come in here, I was like I'm going to the UFC, like <laughs> like literally. And that's the way you've got to be. No, hundred percent. Like it wasn't like oh let's try this out. Oh, I'm actually quite good at this. I knew I'd be like. I just watch some other fighters, and I think if he can do it, why can't I do it? Like that's how you got to think, isn't it? And like, so I've always had that mindset. I used to watch like the UFC boxing everything, and think you can actually do whatever you want to do. Wow. Obviously, things are hard, but anyone on this earth, if they want to do, especially fighting, I think with basketball and stuff like that, or like sprinting, a it's a bit there, different, yeah. isn't it? You <laughs> need some genetics. Yeah. But with like fighting, like it's like the odd one out yeah. like you could be small but then you'll just be a smaller weight class you could have some fighters are, are small but like Mike Tyson yeah. everyone was like oh he ain't got a chance he's the smallest like he's tiny yeah. <laughs> best ever yeah. no, that's so, actually so it's like sometimes you've just got to believe that's that's the first thing you need is belief because because obviously yeah like we just said Mike, it, if you didn't believe, Mike Tyson would have never been who he was. And that's the thing, yeah. It's a testament to so many athletes out there as well. Like, yeah. And like you said, belief is key to a, a sport like MMA. It's, yeah. it's very key. If you don't believe in yourself, I think yeah. you're really in the wrong sport, yeah. especially if you, like you said, want to go to UFC, yeah. want to be number one. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're ranked number four in the country, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out of, like, 800 fighters, that's yeah. Nah, that's, nah, that's credit to you, man. Because even, even you just saying that, especially from... An environment. I'm not. I'm just speaking from an outside perspective. Yeah. I'm not in UFC or cage fighting. Sorry, yeah. but an environment where no one really knows too much about cage fighting yeah. and like Portsmouth, especially Portsmouth. Everyone loves football. There's a football yeah, culture. Yeah, exactly here. that. And to say you want to be the UFC champion, That's people will just look at you and be like, Oh, oh yeah, you know. What I, mean? I remember <laughs> when really I was at work. That the first time I said it, like people was a bit like, Oh, yeah. And, like, and you can just tell by their body language and everything. And I, but that literally, oh mate, like that motivates me so much. That is literally, yeah. yeah, a lot of it is why I've trained so hard and stuff, trust me, because I think <laughs> there's no way I'm letting them people be right. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, no, facts, like every yeah. person that's ever even given me an inch of doubt, that's like I'm like, fuel. oh, like what? Fuel for you, yeah. yeah. And yeah, it's, you can, it's pers ev life's pers perspective, isn't it? Like so some people could be like, no one believes in like yeah or you can have that fire and be like watch this do you know what i mean yeah and it's just some people got it some people yeah. don't i don't and know it's, Weird, it's good it? to see you as well because obviously i went to school with you yeah. i spent a lot of time with you at school and whatever and trained with you as well and it's just good to see someone believe in themselves so much because there's a lot of talented people that don't believe yeah. in themselves you know what oh, i mean 100 do you know what i mean you've got to think about all of those people that don't get through the honestly you know that I mean? is the number one thing i think is belief and just like i'll say ego but it's not a bad ego it's like good ego like self-confidence yeah it's like it's weird like i think you've got to have it though you've You're got to have it but it's not like i think everyone's got it but the way like we sort of go nowadays it's like it's a bad thing to like sort of show it do you know what i mean like oh, I like humbleness. I, like, I don't agree in putting people down, no, of course. but everyone, like, I think the way back in the day, I says it all the time, like the way we would survive yeah. and like conquer and stuff is like, you got, you got to have that. Every Instant, man's got yeah, it. Like cave, That's back how we cave survive. In. Yeah, 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 for sure. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, so I embrace that. Yeah, um, but sorry, just to cut your face. It's interesting on. because I always have this conversation, especially like I said, growing up here, you get, yeah. you get put down for, doing extra trying hard yeah. like doing it's extra true. work and even having self-confidence people look at you and like what are you doing and then it Your try yeah it pushes oh, you to stop doing it <laughs> like even when even yeah like one-to-ones people yeah. do one-to-ones at football and people like after school thinking why are you why is he doing yeah. that yeah and, yeah, yeah and then you're like i'm yeah. definitely Honestly, not going to do that and oh, then same like with fighting i'm yeah, presuming 100 yeah. percent. like i remember even getting feelings like that sometimes like when i first started like getting here early doing all the extra and all that and like sometimes you'd because like we, like you said it's like that's how it is sometimes and it's like but then you just gotta be like no like it's all right people thinking that because i'd, I'd get it i don't know like with people say like oh what you get up before work yeah. and go training and all that like 
Yeah, that's what you do like even diet. It's like you're not dieting; you're just eating properly. Yeah, yeah everyone's that's that's <laughs> what people, people are like, yeah. "What? How do you diet all the time?" Yeah. I'm like, "No, I'm eating food. Like real, f- it's not a diet to me." Well, sorry, because I'm just passionate about this, no, but, but it's just, it's like you just can't get people to understand what they don't like. Like you can't get them to understand that mentality. Because I even saw a video on TikTok. There's a guy dude going for a jog and he's shadow boxing. Yeah, and he's like, like probably like teenagers or young twenties. They're videoing and laughing. Like, why is he? Yeah, why is he punching well. the air? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're thinking like it's a whole different mentality because that guy's right. thinking he's going for a world yeah, title, yeah, yeah. and it you're there yeah. laughing. At it. And in that society, it will knock you down. Yeah, it's right. just like you said with perspective, isn't it? Like yeah. one yeah. person's perspective is like, oh, what's he doing? But yeah. his perspective is like, mate, I'm probably training for a title fight or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like perspective, like, like, yeah, like you said, like people think like that, but then like, it's not. I say it's not their fault. It is obviously because everyone's acting is their own fault. But it's like, it's just like uh, some people can have that mindset, but then like something happens in their life, and it, they haven't just understood yet. Do you get what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for sure. Like, I might have done that yeah. when I was when I was like fifteen. Exactly, yeah. We've all done it. Yeah. Th- that's yeah. what I mean. And yeah. then something's happened in my life. Like no, I can do that. Do you know what I mean? For and then sure. you're like. But then, like, so, yeah, it's just, like, it's making people aware, isn't it? Like, trying to not get angry at people and, like, obviously you want to because it's, yeah. like, you just need to <coughs> understand. But, yeah, like, some people just don't understand yet. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, yeah, let's talk about these titles. So the first title that you won, yeah, yeah I just, yeah, yeah. How did it, what were the emotions around that? Because, obviously, I'll you've be won totally four now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be totally honest with you, like, with the amateurs and that, I'm not really interested in them. Yeah. Like, obviously it's good and like, yeah, it's nice to know like you've won a belt, but yeah, where my goals, I always set my goals so high. Like, it, the amateurs, yeah, titles don't really matter to me, to be honest. Like, I know what I'll, I'm heading for. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? These are good to get on the way and that, but yeah, like, I remember when I won my first, like, <laughs> I feel like it's the mental reps you do. Like, w- like I said, from when I first started, I knew what I was heading for. I didn't even think about amateur titles. That's another thing. You see some people win them and, and like the way they are about it. That's it's just it, like yeah. That's that their UFC strap, is that yeah. your end goal? <laughs> like, not being horrible, but it, it. it's just, I'm not putting people down. It's just my, like, my mind, like... Mentality. It's just, just different, yeah. I'm like, yeah, different. like, I remember when I had my first, like, bra and it was like, yeah, you got your total, a total fight, and I was like, oh yeah, good. And I just instantly was like, yeah, I'm gonna win it. And when they, when I got the belt, I was just like, yeah, it was nice. Like, but yeah, so it's, it's just one of those things. It must yeah. be like from the way you speak, it's nice at the time. But you yeah. know, you're so zoned in at that end yeah. goal. Like, it's nice to pick up on the way, but yeah, the, and even the UFC belt when I get that, like, you, you can't. Obviously, it's uh, amazing to win it, and like I will be so happy when I win yeah. it. But it's like you can't attach yourself no. to belts too much. You can't. What's like, next? Just What's focus next? on the next, next fight. Yeah. Well, I, l- I love the language though. When I win it as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. nice. Yeah. It's, it's so good. But um, sorry, just on that because I was watching Adesanya's um a podcast when he was. I can't remember what podcast it was on, and he had the same mentality. He yeah. said. He sees it as a tiara. Like a lot of people worship and oh. go for the belt, but he sees himself beyond And again, that. it's like um, just by seeing how people talk, you can literally... So, like, I can go in depth here. Like, even I've heard a lot of high-level performers say this as well. Like, even just hearing some people talk, I'm like, I've already beat you. Oh, no, I'm going to win against you. <laughs> because, like, like we was just saying, like, just seeing how some people react with like winning, but be- like I don't know, like you just said, like winning their belt or, or like winning certain fights, and you're like, you should have won that. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like and that's a lot like a, of it is cue, that. You know, yeah, that yeah. You're like, yeah. There's yeah, levels. If you watch the highest thing. people, yeah. perfect example. It's um, there's a video of Kobe Bryant, I think, and that I don't know how basketball works, um, but he he like won a game. A part of a season, oh but they've got, a w- but he hasn't got the championship yet, and they're at the inter- and he's just sat there like that, like doing an interview. Job's not finished. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly that. And they're like, yeah, and he's like, what, what should I be? Happy? She's like, oh, you're not happy, and he's like, nope, nope. <laughs> Job's not finished. And yeah. that's honestly that's how I think, and I've well. always thought like that as well. No, 
I'd love to see that. It's though. just yeah. passion. Yeah. It's not putting people down. It's just honest passion. Yeah. And it's reflective in your training. Like I said, you're in it every day. You know what I mean? Everyone around the gym knows the work you've been putting in. Brian knows. You know what I mean? Like everyone's got so much faith in you, and we can we can all see it happening yeah. for you. Do you know what and I mean? that's another thing that literally push inspires me and like makes me just want to do so well. Is like like you just said. I think just now you said about something like we're just from Pompey, like yeah. little oh Pompey, yeah, we grew up in school, the environment, the environment yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like, but like people are so small minded, but, but it's not their fault. I used to be small minded until I, like I said, something inspired me. I see people winning the UFC and I'm like, and you hear their stories and you're like, I can do that. Yeah. And, and it's like, I had that mindset until I got inspired. I think that's what it is. A lot of people aren't inspired yet until like it's not that they're lazy or they're not dedicated or they don't want nothing in life it's inspiration you could what you could have a mindset and watch one thing and be like oh my god i want to and then be obsessed yeah. and then boom you start studying it and then you're like oh, I could do and then all of a sudden yeah. five years later you've calloused your mind like you're literally gonna do that and that's where this comp like that's where it comes from. You yeah. get what I mean? And but since that the past, yeah, that's go honestly, on, it's amazing when you say that. Yeah. Cause especially from, I feel, I feel like this is more related to, to cage fighting. You can just yeah. be a normal bloke and then yeah. in the matter of a short period of time, you can go, go up. And Ghani, I think, he, he, like 10 years ago, he was sleeping on the street in Paris. Oh, wow. And then I think my brother works on the rails with, um, I can't remember the fighter, I think Fidel knows the fighter. He fought Kai on, um, he beat Kai as an amateur. Oh. He's the son oh, of the UFC. Oban 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 yeah, 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 yeah. He he's working on the rails, and my brother's like, "Oh, I work with this guy. He's on the, like a different gang. I think they call it like in terms of work wise." And he was like, "Yeah, he's just quit the rails, and now he's, he's got off yeah, he's, he's in the UFC yeah, now. Wow, like he's that's it's so inspiring. That's what I mean. Like um, loads of champions have done it um, in boxing. Bernard Hopkins, he was like in prison in that um, for like I swear it was a couple of years or something." But um, he went on, like, it's just, like, what you want in life. If you want it that bad, you will believe in yourself. 100%. That's another thing. Like, if a lot of people are, oh, yeah, oh, like, making excuses. I hate, like, excuses don't exist in my head. And when I'm around people, like, <laughs> again, I'm not being horrible, but I just don't like to be around it at all because it's like it affects you. It's poison. Yeah. When there's people like, oh yeah, this and that, or I got injured, and it's like people's been out for three years with an injury and come back and won titles. Exactly. So don't tell me <laughs> you you had to retire because do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, but this is how passionate I am. Like, yeah. and it, again, it's not me putting people down, but I'll, I'll get so angry. Not angry, but like I'm like. Uh, yeah. Yeah, even Caitlin sometimes is like, chill out. And I'm like, you f And I, I know, I don't know why I'm going mad, but I'm like watching something on the telly. And I'm like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's only because, like, you've got a vision in your head, do you know what I mean? And where, if someone can't relate to you, then it's yeah. just like, mate, come on. Exactly, yeah. Like, we're talking about two different yeah. things here. Exactly, you know? and I feel like people shouldn't feel bad to be like this. No, they shouldn't. Like, 100%. Obviously, sometimes it's hard, like, you feel like you're being, like, whatever, but it's, like, passion's amazing. Like, passion wow. creates amazing things. Yeah. Like, there would be no Mike Tyson, there would be no Muhammad Ali, um, like, some things that's been created in, like... McGregor's the last, yeah. Exactly, yeah. and it's, like, sure. passions, Im and when you find passion, yeah. it's just an amazing feeling. Yeah. Because every day I wake up, and I'm excited to wake up. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Every day I'll go to bed and I'm sure. excited to wake up. Yeah, and you've got a purpose. And even just Honestly. like you mentioned, being in an environment and finding people that have the same passion as you is incredible. Because oh. if you you're trying to get someone to understand your passion, you cut it's yeah. like oh no, you're literally talking, it's to, like a talking to a brick wall. Yeah, oh, you're, like, you're banging your head and you're like, can't you understand 100%. what I'm kind of gone for? And yeah, literally. I, I think this is important because obviously you in a camp and uh, I think Fidel brought me to the gym and yeah. Just seeing how everyone is relentless, working hard. I think I used to come and I finish and like, when I'm done, the people that were here before I got here were still here. I'm thinking, yo, these lot are crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah. it's just balancing, balancing all that. But yeah. um, you've also got a, a, a fight coming up. So I know probably Fidel is going to allude to this, but yep. you're fighting on the, it'd be great to just understand about, about that as well. What, next weekend? Yeah, next weekend. Yeah, I'm literally, yeah, I'm, I'm at the point now, obviously I'll, yeah, I'll get nervous and you always think, like, you have little doubts and, but I'm literally, every other fight I have now, I'm get, I'll get more and more excited. 
because like I feel like I'm yeah I'm just like coming into my own proper like I don't know it's weird like I can't wait to fight yeah like every fight literally um, it's just like another level that's how I see my fights this is uh, like another thing like some fight like some fighters might not realize like they're just oh it's a fight a fight but like every i take in everything from each fight and it's like do you know what i mean it's hard to explain and so like my next one out like i stuck like my last fight was a five round fight i've won every round but i've watched that fight about a hundred times and it's like i can't wait to get more footage to watch to like oh i've done this wrong i've done that wrong do you know what i mean so yeah Nah, I'm, I'm literally buzzing for you, bro, because that's next Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, Yeah, next Saturday. You sold all your tickets and that all? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got a big support. Um, yeah. Yeah. And your brother's on the same card yeah, as you as well, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah, he's on the come up. Um, Two kings, eh? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, young king coming yeah. up. But just quickly on that one, just how that's going to be, obviously you haven't lived it yet, but that's how incredible is that, being on the same card? Oh, yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I can't wait to go through it with him. Um, yeah, it's just going to be unreal to have someone to cut weight with and like, do you know what I mean? Like, just <laughs> well, we'll save it for part two after, after yeah, that fight for yeah. sure. We'll get you both on, yeah. yeah, yeah do a little duo. <laughs> 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, Chad, just to round it off quickly, um, what we normally do with guests is just to ask, uh, get to know you. So I'm just going to ask a quick round of quick fire questions. I just want you to answer as quick as and honest as, as you can. So when you're ready, of course. you ready? Yeah, Brace I'm yourself. Ready. So <laughs> your favourite holiday destination? Um... You don't go on holiday. Portsmouth City, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I ain't got time for holidays. <laughs> Portsmouth City, <laughs> South Sea Beach. You see? That does. Proper. Um, your best fighter at the moment? Um, what, like my favourite fighter? Yeah, your favourite fighter. Who's exciting you? Um, I haven't really got a favourite. No, you don't. No, I've got, I've got loads. Yeah? Um, John Jones. John Jones? Oh, yeah, he's, just <laughs> he's an animal. Yeah. Best song at the moment? Best song. But you keep playing Music sounds better. Oh, so oh okay. Gotta be my tune now. The walkout. The walkout. That alludes next to the next <laughs> song. Your favourite ring walk or walkout yeah, song? Music sounds music better. Music sounds better. Yeah, yeah I've had it every <laughs> fight. He loves it. He loves <laughs> it, <laughs> it man. going. <laughs> every single one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then lastly, dream job if it wasn't cage fighting. Dream job, probably just a normal carpenter like, like I am. That's oh, what I am. Yeah, oh, qualified carpenter. Love that. Um, favourite meal. He loves Ooh. his food, the boy. Yeah, I love my food. <laughs> um, so, my favourite good meal, probably steak and potatoes. And then my favourite, like, if I'm going to have a little cheeky one, pizza. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> After the fight, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, then last one, who's your hero? Bit deep. Hero. Could be anyone. Yeah, again, outside I've got case. loads, like, just basically hero. Yeah, myself. But no, Charlie, looking yeah. forward I'm to watching you at Shopping All next week. I'm sure you'll bring on the dub. Yeah, yeah, of course. The yeah, another yeah. title as yeah, well. I'll have another one for the next interview. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> it, that's it. And Sam will be on there with you, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's making his debut too, but looking forward to it. But yeah, always thank a you, pleasure. Lad. Thank you, lad. Thank you. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. We've been self-made. Thank you for tuning in.